Hi guys, this is Willem Raj. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have my updated jewelry collection. I know I am as excited as you are and I'm going to show you close-ups of all of my pieces. I'm also going to show you how I would store them at home if I kept them at home. <laughs> so this is me pretty much playing with my jewelry, taking you along. This is a very different format because I'm still swollen. I did not tell you, but I did. Whoever follows me on Instagram knows I had something done to my face. I had a little procedure and I'm still swollen. The swelling was supposed to go down a week after the procedure. So I gave myself a week to heal. So I misunderstood. The swelling was supposed to start going down after a week not be gone in a week. So yeah, I had to film my Christmas unboxing video because it's a very important video. So I blasted my face with tons of bronzer. I tilted my camera pretty much like I'm doing now. And it was somewhat okay. But I filmed this video for you a couple of times already during this week. And I had to delete them. I'm gonna still show you close-ups, but I'm not gonna show you my face. <laughs> if I knew how long the healing would be, I would have never done it. Maybe if you're interested, I'm gonna do a video about everything I have had done. So leave your requests down below. And um, yeah, if we get a lot of those, I'm just gonna do a whole transformation video everything I've ever had done pretty much I just like natural look way more now so I haven't done my lips I'm just using the whatever the spicy lip gloss you know what I mean so it like plumps up your lips I am so excited to be filming you don't understand I miss you I miss you so much it's like my friend went out of town or something ah oh. And uh, this treatment isn't over that I'm doing, so I have another one in several weeks. And I'm contemplating even if I'm gonna do it. So now you're gonna ask me about my jewelry box. I already know. I know you guys and I got you. I'm gonna leave an affiliate Amazon link that I will create for you. Um, maybe I'll make 50 cents, but click on it and you will see this jewelry box because I am not a fan of stackers at all. Stackers, like you see these ring pillows where you stick your rings, they are very shallow. So the ring is halfway in, halfway out. It's like, it doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look expensive. It doesn't look fancy. And both of these, this one and the stackers, stink like glue. But I only saw a ton of glue residue in the stacker boxes, but not in this one. And the stackers, they don't have their compartments straight. It's weird, but yeah, I like this one better. So I returned the stackers one after I filmed my video because I realized that the quality wasn't there for the price and that one is twice as much money as this one. So Alex got me this one from Amazon and it's the same company as the one before. So anyway, we're gonna start with the least exciting. Well, not the least exciting. All my jewelry is exciting, okay? So we're gonna start with the bottom drawer. So the jewelry box is already filmed. So I'm gonna show you how I would store my jewelry if I kept all of it at home. I'm gonna show you how to protect crystals. I'm gonna show you how to store your jewelry properly so your crystals don't get oxidized and it lasts longer. So let's go. The bottom drawer. I am exhausted. I just had a new fridge installed. It was a nightmare. I had to remove everything from my old fridge because the water dispenser wasn't working properly. It was making noise. So we finally got our fridge replaced with a brand new one on the 30th of January. How cool is that? So we're gonna have brand new eyes. We're very traditional, so a woman cooks. I am the woman, so I cook, but I'm exhausted. I've been cooking so much Thanksgiving, Christmas, that we're just gonna... I don't know, get Panda Express or something. We don't want to do anything for the New Year's. We've been eating so much that we just need to like take a break. Why am I talking? Happy New Year's, guys. So in this bottom drawer, I keep two of the pouches. One is opened. I always keep this bracelet in the travel pouch because it's my favorite bracelet. It is Michael Sedney bracelet. It is absolutely stunning. It is currently for sale, but I don't know, I just love it so much. Maybe I will change my mind. So <laughs> it's very beautiful because the color is not lilac, it's actually blue. It doesn't have much translucency in it. So it pops on your skin. It is very gorgeous. 
How pretty is that? I love it very much. I always keep it in the travel pouch and open because I don't want it to like change color, oxidize. I know that Calcedony is extremely durable stone. It's my favorite bracelet to look at, not to wear, because I'm like paranoid about scratching white gold. I don't know. These pieces are so priceless to me that it's just hard to bring myself to fully enjoy them. And that's like, I probably need therapy for that because maybe I feel like I'm not deserving of them or maybe I feel like if something happens to it, I will never be able to find the same color or beautiful gold or especially now because it's so hard to get these pieces that yeah I just they're my treasures truly my treasures but I want somebody to love it and I want somebody to wear it so this one will be sold this is my tan motif in mother of pearl I always keep it in a travel pouch because because if you watched my video about how horrendous the wear on this mother of pearl is you understand why but also I never kept it any other way I always kept it like this that's why I feel like it's extremely unfair that this happened to me and I spoke to my essay and he said that that's the way mother of pearl patinas so yeah apparently this is normal and um, I'm not gonna replace the stones just yet and also what I keep in this um, bottom drawer is some extra links and the um, screwdriver for my love bracelet. So this is the next drawer up and I am going to share with you how I keep my malachite earrings. So I keep my malachite earrings always, always in the travel pouches because malachite oxidizes even in the travel pouch, but I want to prolong the life of these beauties because I love them very much and I don't want the malachite to oxidize because when it does, it becomes, um, kind of um, whitish, you know, it's inevitable. But if you could do something, you know, to enjoy your piece longer, or at least preserve its value, then you should keep them in the pouches. Anyway, <laughs> the sun is coming out and I'm like mesmerized. So uh, the lighting is very beautiful right now. These are also in the travel pouch, always. Look at that green. How amazing is this green? This is absolutely stunning. It suits me so well. I just love it. Now you've noticed two more travel pouches in here and they are my carnelian pendant. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous. I love it very much. So of course I keep it in the travel pouch because even though it's very durable, I want to protect it. And this one is everyone's favorite. How stunning, like how stunning is this piece? I'm not into yellow colors. It's like a dollop of gold in a gold frame. So it looks like guilloche, but fancier. I never see it on anybody. And even if I did, the tiger eye would not look like mine. I live in LA. So whenever I go to Air One, everyone and their dog is wearing a guilloche piece. So I'm so sick of seeing guilloche pieces on people, but I'm wearing mine right now. I love it very much. It's um, white gold um, guilloche and I have my Cartier. I don't want to come too close, but I have my Cartier um, what is it called? Studs. Love studs. I love them so much, guys. I love them very much. This goes to show that I haven't been out this entire week. As you can tell from my stories, I have just been healing. I have been home. So I haven't been wearing anything and these studs are there just to like be there. So I have something in my ears. Okay, now the third drawer is more exciting. This is my Cartier, um, bracelet drawer i don't need to show them to you up close but i will these are two of my justin clue bracelets the thin one is rose gold diamonds this one is yellow gold the yellow gold is my favorite the yellow gold fits me perfectly and uh, that's my going out piece because i only wear that piece and that's it so i love it very much and the rose gold one i got it more loose because i wanted to fall lower on my wrist and i feel like it's very sexy these are two of my love cuffs. They're both in a size 17. And to accompany my Justin Clou in the size 17, I have this love bracelet in 
a size 18 because Justin Clue you need to size down. And then I also have this cord bracelet. So that's my wider stack that I can build and I can feel very comfortable in. It falls really low, but I really like that look. I think that it's very sexy. It's very elegant. The more motion it has, the more gracious it looks. How can I explain that better? This is my necklace drawer, so I'm just gonna go one by one. This is my Frivol three flower pendant. I love it very much. It is so stunning, guys. It it's so sparkly. It looks amazing when you wear it as a choker. So like on a shorter setting, it's extremely beautiful. This is my favorite necklace at the moment. Oh my God, guys, I cannot believe I have it. This is my newest addition to my necklace collection. It came from Vegas. It was the only one left in the country. I love it very much. I fought for it very hard and I got it. So this is my prized possession. This pendant is extremely unique. You will never see anybody wear it. Well, maybe now it's becoming more popular, but the Diamond Pave one, I talk about it in my Christmas unboxing videos. I had that pendant. I returned that pendant. So go watch that video and find out why. Not just for Vol, but for me, Van Cleef and Diamond Pave, I just feel like the diamonds aren't it. I feel like they were way better quality when I was getting my Magic Pave ring, and now it's just, mm, no. So when I got this one for this price, I feel very good uh, because it's a statement piece, but it's not you know, like the extra large version, it looks almost like costume jewelry. This one actually doesn't look big. You know, it looks perfect as a choker, of course, but it is absolutely, it's absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like this pendant on anybody. I am absolutely obsessed with it. This is my favorite pendant. I am over the moon that I got it, that I was able to score this pendant. This piece, guys, it brings me so much happiness. Like, anyway. Next is my Diamond Pave pendant in yellow gold. This is my OG pendant by now. I wore it so much. It's kind of dirty. I didn't wash it because I wear it all the time. I love it very much. I got it in yellow gold to go with my onyx and with my mother of pearl earrings. There's nothing to say about this pendant. It's a little expensive. I don't think it's worth it, but it makes me very happy nonetheless. This is my Gemini pendant with the trace chain. I feel like it's 70 or something, 70 centimeter chain. It is absolutely stunning. I love this pendant very much. It is heavy for the price, considering this is Van Cleef. So because it's not their most popular line uh, collection, like Vintage Alhambra or Frivol, it's more affordable. But at the same time, you're getting a chunky piece of gold and um, I don't know, it just makes me feel better that I spent money on something that is weighty and like robust and feels heavy. I'm gonna tell you a little story from my childhood. Don't roll your eyes, it's gonna be quick, I promise. So I was about eight years old, walking around my grandma's garden, picking apples. So the apples would fall and I would eat the apples from the ground because they were, well, I would actually eat it from my hand, but I would pick it off the ground because those were the ripe ones, the sweet ones. So I was walking around choosing an apple for me and I saw something sparkle at me from the ground. So I started digging and it was a pendant, a medallion actually. It looked like this. It was slightly smaller, slightly. On it was Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus. It was the most stunning like icon on the pendant. And it had like sunburst um, pattern around it. Not like quite, not quite like guilloche, but similar. And it had like petals around. So it wasn't like completely round, like, like a coin. It was like somewhat like a flower almost. So I ran to my grandma, I gave it to her and she created a chain out of um, black threads. She like knitted it and she wore it and she still wears it. So that pendant never ever leaves her neck, but it wasn't her pendant. And I've spent most of my life, which I'm very ashamed to admit, regretting giving her that pendant because I never had anything nice and it wasn't like she lost it. So I should have kept it, put it on my little tiny neck, but it would be too big anyway. Now I wouldn't keep it because I have tons of other jewelry, but I always felt like mm, I should have kept it. I should have not showed it to anybody. It was gold. It was 18K yellow gold. 
because it had the stamp. I don't know how it got into our garden under the apple tree. Maybe my grandma killed someone and buried them. And knowing my grandma, it's not like a stretch. Like, uh, I remember when I was little, she used to say that witches turn into frogs. And if any poor frog made an executive decision to come anywhere near my grandma's house, she would chase them with a brick and kill them. I love my grandma. <laughs> this is rose and white gold chain with a cross. These aren't real diamonds. This is a gift from Ukraine. It shines so beautifully because it has white and rose gold. So it is absolutely stunning. It's a present from my parents, so I'll always cherish it. And no diamonds will ever come near the value I assign to it in my heart. This is everyone's favorite, I feel like. You see the little tiny C C C Cartier or C de Cartier? I'm not sure the name, but this is 0 0.2 or 0 0.22 e-color VVS1 diamond. It looks bigger than it is because it's colorless. It doesn't have any inclusions. Well, no visible inclusions. And also it has the GIA certificate. Thank you very much for helping me. How fancy, how fancy is that little diamond? And this bracelet I don't keep in the pouch. It's my workhorse. So if you can't find a hammered gold bracelet, just get this one because this is a workhorse. It will never let you down. It is absolutely stunning. You can wash it. Um, don't like use chemicals on it, but baby soap is okay. I have a tutorial on how I wash my crystals. I don't wash it often, maybe once every year, once every half a year, depending on how much I wear it. I wear this one a lot, a lot. The maintenance manager just texted me that he hopes I like my new refrigerator. And I was like screaming, of course they do, because it's amazing. I'm so happy I have it. Maybe I should do what's in my fridge video. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> uh, me just doing random stuff. I can't stand. I'm sorry, but if something works, don't break it. Why do people decide when they do jewelry videos to do like refrigerator videos or something random? Like just stick to the topic. Anyway, this is my earring drawer. So you already know the two pairs of earrings in malachite that I keep in the pouches. Also, my three motif malachite earrings are always in the case, in the, yeah, in their case. And I do not leave them at the safety deposit box recently because I feel like I can control humidity. I feel safer when they're at home. So yeah, I air them out from time to time. So mirror-like finishes, earrings, I keep in the separate compartments so they don't scratch each other. This is my newest addition. What do you guys think? I love them very much. They're so comfy. They go so well with my three flower uh, pendant, frivol pendant, guys. It's like a match made in heaven. They go with an extra large one and they go with the three flower one whenever I want to be casual. So these earrings can be really dressed down and you don't need a lot of makeup because they're gonna brighten up your face because they have this mirror like polish finish. So I'm very happy I got them. What do you guys think? They're blinding, they're very dirty right now, but I have to keep it real and show you what they really look like. These are also my most worn earrings hammered rose gold earrings. I love them very much. These earrings, my newest edition, also amazing. Very, very, very edgy, very eye-catching. I don't see them on a lot of people. And I feel like they add texture to your look. They, they're very, well, edgy, but also interesting. You know, it's something different. It's not your everyday plain hoop earring. Um, so yeah, I really, really like them. These earrings, you've seen them a lot. I love them very much. Three diamond Cartier Love earrings in rose gold. They're amazing. Another pair of Cartier hoop earrings. I love them very much. They're very um, futuristic looking. They're high polish. They look very futuristic. I really love them. Everybody asks me about these earrings. My parents got them for me. They're not real diamonds. This is rose gold and they're matching the cross and the chain. I like them. They look kind of like Valentino because they have these like rock studs on them. They look way fancier than what uh, the price of them was and I enjoy them. I love them so much, of course, because they're a gift 
And um, yeah, they just go with everything. I wear them a lot. These are the capers I told you about. I don't know what I would do without them. See how like the backing screws on and this dome on top, it's there to prevent the post from poking you which is so well thought through. I love them very much for that because they're the most comfortable to sleep in. Now, these little ones are up for sale. I love them very much, but I am selling them. I just don't feel like I need so many little tiny stud earrings. That's all. The capers are in rose gold and they're non-designer, so I can't sell them. Plus, they're a gift from my, from my parents. And these have to go. How stunning. I replaced the pearls in my mother of pearl earrings. I love them very, very much. These are absolutely stunning. And these are my onyx earrings. Also love them very much. And now finally, the top and most exciting drawer. My favorite bracelet. I'm not going to spend too much time going into details because guys, all of these are on my channel like a lot. This is my white Giyoshi bracelet that I resized to be a size 18, so it's not perfectly symmetrical. My rings, the white Juston Clou I'm currently selling. You've seen these many times, so... My David Yurman pinky rings. This one, I had it engraved. This is a ring that my parents got for me to match the earrings and the cross and the chain. I love it very much. It's so cute. It's also white gold and rose gold. This is my Van Cleef wedding band. Next, we have my tan motif in rose gold. I have a video of me washing it on my channel. Go check it out. It is so stunning and so clean now. I love it. Let me know if you tried my method and if you like it. And last but not least, two of my favorite rings, two of my favorite jewelry pieces, period. Oh my gosh. I love them. These are my most prized possessions. The three motif earrings are in the case, so I don't need to show them to you. You saw them like a million times, but you will see them in the close-ups of this jewelry box. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you found it interesting or entertaining, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you soon when my face finally goes back to normal. It's not that bad. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> Bye, guys.